Keiichi Tsuchiya drifts using six different drift techniques. Saido. Shift lock. Breaking. Paint on. Axel on. In this issue of BMI's Special Edition, we will focus on the art of drifting performed by the Drift King himself, Keiichi Tsuchiya. We'll go through all six basic techniques essential to drifting and further analyze how Suchia is using these techniques from various camera angles. Let us guide you to the world of the Drift Kings, Drift Bible. First of all, we'll take a look at how a drift machine should be tuned and modified. Looking at this S14 Sylvia with limited modifications to only the suspension area, you can say that drifting is not about power. Going sideways, relying on only brute power, is not what Tsuchiya aims for. So how should a beginner set up his or her machine to drift like the king? This one's for all beginners. Everyone goes through this stage. I started off doing this too. This drifting relies all on the e-brake. Straight away, brake, toe, and e-brake. Right there. Just like this. Well, it all starts from something like this. Don't worry about how you exit the corner. Just try to pull the e-brake at the corner entrance and concentrate on making the car go sideways. You brake and then turn the wheel, step on the clutch, and pull the e-brake. Release the e-brake, go into counter-steer mode, then wait. Wait until you know that the car is facing the corner exit direction. Then you gently start stepping on the gas. How hard you should step on the gas pedal should depend on how much you're sliding and counter-steering. All of this should get you to exit the corner in one piece. <laughs> 